So let's see more advanced behavior I will find in the XY grid. So let's make this bigger. Maybe we can close this and close this also. And right here we're gonna create a new file. So we're gonna call this one alignment.html. So we're gonna see some of the alignment classes that you will find in the framework. So for example, let's add a div on the class grid container. Close the div. Next we're gonna add an h1, the class text center. And let's add something like alignment parent. So in foundation, in this version, you have two options to align the elements. You have the alignment that goes from the parent to the child. And also, if a, if a element is a child, you can use something called the self alignment. In this video, we're gonna see the parent alignment. So first, for example, let's create a div with the class grid x. Close this div and let's add something like div class, maybe medium four and cell and div right here. So let's add something like content. Let's add something like a, or, yeah, or content is fine. Next we have div. It's going to be the same medium four, medium four. Let's add cell right here. More content. So let's save this and open this alignment.html. Alignment.html. And you can see that we have alignment and we have our content and we have more content. So let's add uh, some other class. And let's add something here. Yeah, medium four will work. But we're going to remove this grid X. I'm going to open the CSS. And right here, I'm gonna add grid X, background color. And let's add transparent so we can remove that color and you can see better the example that I'm trying to make. Then we have, if you remember, we call these ones medium four. So we're gonna add medium four right here. And the background color, let's use the same coral color. So you can see better what's happening here. So save this and reload. And you can see we have something like this. And we're gonna add also grid margin X. So you can see better. The idea is that you see this more graph, more, uh, the idea is that you can see this more in the real world, in the real example. So for example, you can see if I add two dips, you can see we have one right here and the other right here. If I decide to add more, you can see we have three. If we only have one, well, the content is going to be on the left. So you can see using this by default, the alignment is on the left. So let's remove this. And right here on the grid margin X, we're going to add a line right. So save this. And now you can see the content is aligned to the right. So if I decide to remove this and save. You can see content is coming from the right. That's something nice, especially for example, if you are building a header and you have and you want a, a logo on the left, a menu on the right, these kind of classes are gonna be really, really helpful. Another example is going to be a line justify. Save this and reload. You can see we have one on the left and one on the right, and the center is empty. So for example, you can add the logo right here and the menu right here. Next, you can also use the center. So center this. Now you can see that they are center and they have the same content available right here or right here. So for example, if you add, add, add another one, you can see now is growing and they are taking the same content. So let's add another one. Now you can see we have two. So right here, you can add something like grid margin Y. So we have some separation between this one and this one. So that's something really powerful. And let's remove this to another way is to add space right here. And now you can see we have uh, some space uh, between these. This is a little different space and center. You can see the difference. This one space looks like is 
using the same content right here and right here and leaves the center empty so for example if i pay this two times now you can see we have something like this if we create another one and another one you can see how easy is to mock up these things using these classes so let's take one step further and here and let's open the app.css here you can see we have the grid x and here i'm gonna add a height maybe let's add something like 500 pixels and a background color it's going to be e1 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 these are a light gray color so save this and now you can see we have 500 pixels of course if i make this smaller you can see something like that and you can see that our divs are fitting inside the height it doesn't matter if it is if it's 500 pixels or 600 pixels they're gonna be resized and fit inside this content so that's something nice and finally for example let's remove this let's remove everything and keep the, the the same two that we have before now you can see by default we have something like this they are growing like this but for example you can add some other classes right here so instead of having this you can have a line top a line top and now you can see they are aligned to the top of the page you can also make this like this a line top it's going to be like that you cannot create any kind of design that you want there is no need to to there is no need to limit the kind of design you can you can make with flexbox so for example you can also add a line middle save this and reload something like this it's going to be center and for example let's say that i add more divs this way is going to be growing from the center so that's nice i think next you have also bottom bottom right here and they are going to be aligned to the bottom and of course you can also have the default one is a stretch stretch is going to make this grow and take all the content or the size that is available so that's something nice so this is the alignment that goes from parent which in this case is this grid x to the child which which in this case is the boxes that you find in the orange color in the screen so in the next video we're gonna see how you can for example you can take different of the different divs and make them look different they don't have to be always the same you can decide for example make this one bigger this one aligned to the right or something like that we're gonna see some of the customizations that you can make in the next video